Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus. Today I'm going to show you how to actually do an indoor occlusion. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with our render layers. I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit, Select All by Type Geometry, create a new render layer. I'm going to call this occlusion. Right click, Attributes, Presets, Occlusion. So when you render, you might get something like this. So you can see that it is completely dark, but you can just see a little bit of the occlusion kind of peeking out around the areas where it's opened. So the reason why is because occlusion is actually run with the environment on the outside. So when it hits the walls, it doesn't know, it basically doesn't work, but you can actually fix this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take a look at our surface shader that was produced when it created the occlusion layer and we're going to take a look at our ambient occlusion node. Basically, we just want to mess around with the max distance. So let's say we'll change the max distance to five and then we'll render. So as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit cartoon shader, but basically we are finally getting occlusion. It's just that it's blown out. So we need to make a couple of changes. So let's go ahead and change our max distance. When I change my max distance to 10, you can see that I'm getting a little bit more detail. Go ahead and go dramatic and go to 50. It's definitely looking a lot better. It's got some noise, which I'm going to fix in a second, but I still feel that it's a little bit blown out. So I'm going to go to 80. Now every scene is going to be different. In this particular scene, the max distance is going up to 80, maybe into the 100s. In other scenes, it might actually just be three or five. So every scene is just different. So you just have to kind of play around with it. Here's the occlusions, definitely looking a lot better. This is how it started. Now it's looking like we're actually getting some detail. Okay, let's get rid of some noise. That will be the sample. So let's increase our samples to 64 and then render. Okay, it's definitely looking a lot better. The noise is definitely significantly less and compared to what it was before. Now it's a lot smoother. And let's go ahead and increase our max distance to 100. I still feel it's a little bit bright. Let's see what happens when we increase the max distance a little bit more. Okay, so we started off with complete darkness, way too much blown out. And by tweaking those two attributes, samples and max distance, we managed to clean up the render to make it look and all the information and fine detail that occlusion can provide for us. So hopefully that was helpful. Please make sure to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and let me know how I'm doing. Do you like my tutorials? Is there anything you would like to see? Maybe I can help you out. Hope to hear from you guys soon, and I will see you next time.